Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by to check out this My Cost Professional tutorial. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to update the active item list, and I'm going to show you a little bit about the expense tracking tab. Let's get started with the active item list. Once you get to this tab, you can click the refresh button, and it'll pull in all of the active items you have listed on eBay currently. You can see here I have three items listed currently on eBay. You can click any of the column headers to collapse them into the bookmark view, and you click it again to expand it. You also have the option to hide and unhide columns altogether by clicking the double triangle and adding or deleting an H, and then clicking that double triangle again. By doing that, you can see the columns with the H disappear from view altogether. All right, I'm going to show you another really cool thing about this tab here. You can update your item quantities and your buy it now prices directly from the spreadsheet in bulk. As many items as you want all at once uh, right here from this page. So you see here this item has a listing quantity of two. I'm going to change that listing quantity to three. You put an X here in this confirm column and this is just to be double sure that you want to be updating your active item on eBay. You have to put that X and you have to click this OK after you click the Modify button just to make sure that you really want to do that. So you can see here after I hit Refresh that it has changed to 3. So let's do another exercise. Let's change the uh, Buy It Now prices from $59.99 and $24 even to $59.98 and $24.98. and confirm the change we want to make with an X in both of those rows and click modify and click OK wait for the success message there it is and click refresh and you can see those prices have changed okay so let's go on and head back to the home page from here I'm going to show you the expense tracking tab let's go ahead and click it on this tab, all you need to do is put in a date, expense category, subcategory, you can put in a detailed description if you want, and the amount. And what that's going to do is funnel these expenses appropriately into your reports and make sure it's accounting for these uh, expenses that you're incurring that are not directly related to your sales. So these are going to be more like overhead expenses, things you have to pay monthly or uh, taxes, that kind of thing that are not related to you buying and selling an item but they are related to your business expenses so I just put an example in here utilities um, gas is a subcategory but let's say we want to make our own drop downs these items on the left here are the category drop downs so you can change any of them and you can see that each one is associated with another column over to the right where you put in the subcategory items so let's say we want to add a few items under rent, maybe warehouse rent, store rent, uh, car rent, I guess, yeah. This is just an example. You go back, and when we put a date in now, and pick rent, now you see we have warehouse, store rent, and car rent. So we, we know all of your categories might be completely different than all of our categories. So we're just kind of leaving it up to you to fill in however you want. All right, so now if you pick the overhead expenses from this widget on the dashboard, you can see that it'll actually summarize those expenses that you put in uh, on this tab. And if you look at our other reports, you can see that they're also pulled into these reports on the appropriate days that they were incurred. And as you remember from the first video, you can print any of these reports. Just click that print button. Let's head back to the home page. That's about it for this tutorial. I want to remind everyone there is a free two-week trial of the product. Just go to mycostpro.com and head over to the download page. I encourage everyone to check it out and let us know what you think, good or bad. So this is a brand new product. Uh, we did get a lot of good feedback during the beta testing, which is still going on. We're almost done. We're almost ready to release this. 
but even after it's released we're going to keep working towards making the ideal product what everyone wants to see so if you don't see something you like in the first version you get let us know and maybe it'll come in the next update anyway everyone have a good day and i'll talk to you later bye